Hello everyone, my name is Carly Hamilton and I'm here with you for a process video for my Month of Me album which I am just flicking through there. Um, one of the things that I do is I like to keep my photos already in the spot that they're going to go in the album. Um, that helps with me with um, planning and also seeing um, what pages left I have to do and I love flicking through and seeing what pages I've done. Um, so this is page, uh, well for prompt number 11 in my Month of Me project, which is a month long project I'm doing uh, where I am just capturing um, who I am right now. And the prompt for this one is inspiration. And so for this one, I decided to do uh, a page on one of the scrapbookers out there on YouTube who I really admire and that is Kitty Scrapper. So uh, Nancy, if you're watching this, um, thank you for being such a fantastic inspiration, both with how you do your channel and your process videos, but also with the scrapbook pages that you make. Um, you have been an inspiration for my own process videos and my own pages. Now, one of the things I really wanted to do with this page was I'd just gotten my freckled fawn kit um, so I wanted to really use that and one of the flare badges that you got in this kit said I think you are really lovely and when I got the kit I was a bit stumped on how I was going to use it but I think that um, suits this page perfectly so I'm really happy that I got to use it on this page it's that black one there on the top page I've also got out some of um of the wood veneer um, the banner that says hello and another the other flare the square flare and i've got the um paper clip to the side there so yeah i i um took a while to decide which papers i was going to use on this page um, and I actually sped it up super super f um, quickly at the start there uh, i have if you've noticed from previous videos i've got a lot more cards seemingly now and that did speed up the process a bit with selecting my papers. I found it easier to find things that coordinate. Um, and what I'd done there is I actually went through my scraps and I just cut them out to 4x6 and 4x3 sizes. Um, so I've got quite a few more cards now. Now, this page came together really quickly. It only took me 40 minutes, which is pretty fast. Um, compared to what I've been doing lately. Uh, so this is a really short video as well. I'm feeling really rushed. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have sped it up so quickly, but oh well. Um, if I slow it down too much, I think I'll be bored, let alone you. So this picture up in the uh, top left corner is my avatar that I'm using at the moment. So I've recorded that um, and the title that I'm, I'm writing out is my avatar. And um, this top uh, page that I, uh, blah, 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 I can't speak, but the, that this um, box, I can't even think of what the word is, but that little square that I'm working on right now um, is going to be my journaling. So I've stuck another like a 3 by 4 card on the top of it um, and that's where I'm going to do my journaling. The bottom uh, photo this is just a screenshot that I took of one of Kitty Scrapper's videos. So if you haven't heard of her, where have you been? Go check her out. I'll put a link um, down below in my little thingy majiggy down below. So go check her out. And I'm using the Freckled Fawn Vellum letter stickers, which I am in love with. These things are so cool. Um, and I love that they're like a little bit see-through. So I like to layer them on top of each other to get that darker tealy color and also that you can see the um the photo underneath it i really wanted to use that um what's macaulay that paper clip to the side there so I've, I've laid them out so that the paper clip fits perfectly now with the dream card i just thought dream was sort of a nice sentiment and it goes with the colors that i wanted to use um, i've stuck down that square flare and i've also used one of the puffy stickers from the freckle form kit and of course, I splattered on it, you saw earlier. I just went over it with my um, stickles, uh, the word dream, just to sort of make it a little bit sparkly, make the card a little bit more exciting. 
so I get out um, some of the um, 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 jewels that I have and I'm also going to use the black ones from the freck freckle fawn kit but before I do that I want to find out how the hell I'm going to stick down this uh, paper clip so in the end I decide to use this black just a strip of sticker that I have from one of those sticker collections I believe it's Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party I've just peeled up the um, end from um, Inspiration and I'm going to tuck the black sticker underneath that end um, through the paper clip and then fold it over to the other side and that's just how I stuck that on the page now I'm gonna do in the corner I'm going to just do uh, a black rhinestone and then these green colored ones around it to make a cluster of three and I'm going to do that on the photo as well just to help um, draw your eye through the page these two elements are the same so your eye identifies that and it, it tra when it travels across the page it makes it feel like that it's all cohesive I also um, have some green stars um, they're from one of the Dear Lizzie um, sticker packs as well I can't remember which collection but I stick them down the side of my journaling square and I also use another puffy sticker on there so for my journaling I've just written Kitty Scrapper on YouTube is my inspiration right now I love her style and she has inspired me to push myself creatively with my layouts she also has a great presence on the camera thanks Nancy you rock so that's what I've written and that's pretty much my page done so yeah it was nice and quick and just came really easily to me and I think it looks amazing so here I am um, just sticking it into my book you can see um, future pages yet to be done there with where I've got my photos already stuck in and just moving things out of the way so I can get it better in frame with this one I actually uh, I, I put the um, banner too far over onto the page so I tried to move it but it was already stuck down so I ended up cutting a bit to the left um, off the card just so that I could squeeze it in and then my avatar there so that is my page I've slowed it down here you can have a bit of a look but there was the glare of my overhead light getting in the way so it's not a very good look um, but it's a look nonetheless and I'll have some photos afterwards uh, so yes thank you so much everyone for watching if you haven't already uh, check out Nancy um, and go subscribe to her um, also if you're interested in the freckle form kit which I um, have featured in this layout um, I'll put a link down below um, and if you sign up using my name and email address we'll both get five dollars off which is pretty cool other than that um, let me know in the comments what you think of this uh, layout and also share with me who your favorite scrapbooker is on YouTube I'd love to go check out some new people so leave a comment with that or you know let me know if you yourself do it don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time where I'll create another mess bye